Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you saw me wearing this outfit in another video, no, you didn't. Mind your business, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, you don't know who I am, what I do. I am Zanji Does, and on my channel, I do hair videos and life advice videos. And today's video is going to be like a little bit of a chit chat video regarding hair regarding hair and let me just say let's just do a few housekeeping rules i always do housekeeping rules if you see me looking at the floors because i'm thinking i'm thinking because i want to say the right things today and i don't here's my goal i don't want to come off to you guys like i'm boasting or like i'm better than anyone else i never want that vibe to come off in any hair video i do okay my hair sucks like even though it's healthy, I hate my hair sometimes. It's so much fucking work. Listen, that's not what this is about. All I'm trying to tell y'all really quickly before I even start is that this is in no way to feel like make you feel like I'm boasting about myself or like I'm better than you if you don't have what I have okay so this is this video is more of a reminder to appreciate what you have love what you have and kind of like a self-confidence booster i want you to watch this and love at the end of the video to leave this video loving what you do have with all that being said i'm glad we checked those boxes off this is a like i said a hair video a hair advice video so like i said on my channel i do hair videos and life advice today's video is a hair video and i always let people know if this is your first time seeing me on youtube i always say watch all the way through first and then decide if you want to subscribe i am not a big fan of youtubers the minute you start a video saying like subscribe share whatever it's fine people do their own thing i always like to watch a video all the way before i subscribe to see if i'm one feeling the vibe like what the person even said how quick they get to the point whatever i suggest you do that as well that's completely okay and i always say if you watch all the way through you you know you do dedicate that time to me and you're like oh i was not feeling that at all that's okay i understand different strokes for different folks i think the quote is at least just like the video because what that does is it does push my video to other people that are actually looking for this right so let's say you stumbled across my video and that's why you're watching okay the people that are actually searching this up if you like it it kind of helps them because they'll end up seeing my stuff so you don't have to subscribe but i would love it if you do yeah if you watch my hair video you're like i'm not feeling this maybe give my advice series a try and see if you like me there so yeah so today's video is uh Honestly, I'm going to tell you all the truth about thick hair. I haven't seen, I feel like I haven't heard a lot of women or men with thick hair talk about the downsides of it. And I feel like people often, like I've seen videos before where people with thick hair cut their hair because it's so heavy. And people are like, oh, you're so like, you don't understand. Like that is so beautiful. Why did you cut it? Blah, 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 blah. I'm just, I'm just going to come on here. And give you a perspective change and really kind of remind you why why maybe your situation is better you know what i'm saying so i know my hair today it's not a good example to show you that i have thick hair but i'll put pictures throughout the video so that you can see i'm not making this up i'm not just saying i have thick hair i do have thick hair um it's something that i think about in passing i don't care about it i don't make it my personality you know people like have something that a lot of people don't so they like boast about it i don't really do that with my hair i honestly forget my hair is thick until people remind me so i'm just kind of trying to paint a picture for you of where i am with my hair personally all i know is i'm like i have a lot of curls and i just have to brush a lot of hair like that's just really how i see it you know some people see thick hair and like oh what a blessing oh my god whatever whatever you know but let's get into it let's get into the truth about thick hair let's talk about it so i'm actually gonna really honestly expose the truth about thick hair in this video because i think maybe people with thick hair don't want to tell you but i don't care because i told you i don't even care that my hair is thick and let's just say let's not put the evil eye on me right let's not let's not send negative energy my way and make me you know lose my hair but i am grateful for what i have yes but the first truth is it does get tangled easily quickly and it hurts it hurts so bad i am personally tender-handed 
but there has to be like i know even people who are not tender-headed with they care be like okay this kind of like this is doing the most you can't even even in my situation with curly hair you can't put your hand in and then do that because it hurts the minute my hair starts curling it's tangled like it's done it's done so that's number one this is was a hard truth for me to swallow or i didn't realize because like i said i didn't really care about how thick my hair is but i ended up realizing like oh well that makes sense so number two if your scalp is sensitive and because you have a lot of hair and gravity you know gravity pulls down you may tend to get a lot of headaches okay and i'm mainly talking for my girlies with the straight heavy hair like you know because when it's for us with the curls and the afro like it kind of like stays in a, in a place kind of like a helmet a heavy helmet sometimes for other people a lightweight helmet people with long hair like long heavy thick like headache and then not only that number three if your scalp is sensitive and your hair is pulling down it can make your scalp super like inflamed like irritated swollen it's kind of gross like it's like what is going on when i do straighten my hair it appears thinner but it still is thick um actually i'll put a, a picture on the screen of the thickest my hair looked when it was straight but yeah every time i do straighten when i because i can't straighten my hair i just don't do it too much you know heat damage you know curly hair life that gravity again your scalp is like it's like it's something called like it's just not going with the natural alignment with your scalp like if your hair is naturally curly and you're always straightening it and you find that your scalp is always like oh tender ouch like you know whatever because you're disrupting the way that the hair is supposed to be naturally flowing all right no one wants to admit this because i think it's kind of embarrassing i know it was for me um you can't lose in your <laughs> and i know i know that i'm probably saying these and people are like uh whatever like you're so ungrateful whatever like i really hope you guys don't think i'm coming off that way but you know maybe so, like i'm saying maybe someone's like okay i wish i could find a bobby pin in my hair no you don't no you don't okay like yes yeah, so some people don't want to admit this but you can lose things in there i have lost some bobby pins in my hair it's not cute you could have like little fuzzies that you don't even know of like if you wear fuzzy stuff in the winter and then you have a fuzzy on the top of your head don't even know but i think that can apply for everyone but yeah if your hair is thicker and it's in there no one's really gonna see it i have had some hair ties lost in there too and i i hope no one's like damn girl you're dirty you know i wash my hair all the time but it's like it is so thick sometimes you're just like it just happens it happens it's an embarrassing truth sometimes people don't want to admit it but yeah you can lose some bobby pins in there girl number five you want thick hair do you know <laughs> you better have the arm strength okay some people do cut off their hair that's thick because they're like i don't even like have the arm strength your arms are always up like this you're always using a lot of wrist motion a lot of arm and wrist motion when it comes to people with thicker hair you're gonna be up and doing this motion way more than people with you know other types of hair so you know people probably don't want to admit it but them hairstyles that they do the cute hairstyles takes forever to do because if you're doing it yourself you are gonna be in there for sometimes hours sometimes hours so yeah them, that arm strength like so i wrote this one down because i was like you know i think maybe some people don't know and maybe some people know maybe some people don't know long straight hair is probably worse than short thick hair have y'all seen them thick blunt cuts that they're like poofed out like the long hair long thick hair is way more painful to your scalp than the short because again you have like let's say this is the hair it's like pulling you down by the neck again headache tender scalp when it's short it's like more free flowing you can kind of control it more you can kind of do like a little you know some little hair ties or whatever but i'm i'm saying this too because i know some people that do don't have thicker hair sometimes they will try to achieve that so this video is also to remind you kind of like just double think everything basically right double think everything here's the real struggles that no one wants to tell you about because you know that's the truth people see things and they don't want to tell you like when queens get a lot of queens back then when they used to get bbls they wouldn't tell you about lymphatic massages how painful those are the body draining 
how sometimes people have to get a double bbl and now too if you haven't noticed you guys a lot of women are getting their breasts that they got their breasts done back then they're not getting them removed because their bodies are rejecting it so it's like it's a lot of hidden truths that some people just don't want to say because it's like why ruin the beauty of it right but yeah that's kind of my goal here but let's go to the next one. Oh my god the amount of product that we have to buy that we waste that we have to run through when we have thicker hair is so ridiculous like it's pretty unfair it kind of reminds me of like you know we have to buy pads like as women we have to buy pads and tampons and it's like i can't control this it's the same thing with people with thick hair you can't control it like yes you can cut your hair and reduce the product use but still it's still a lot of fucking hair anyways right the amount of product usage babes like it's it's out of this world and imagine for me i love miss jesse's and that's usually the only thing that works the best like gives me the best results imagine i can go through a bottle of miss jesse's curls soft curls in like two weeks if i do but i have to say no and buy other products in the meantime it's like it's ridiculous but, but yeah guys i just wanted to make a short video i hope this didn't like i said come off as boasting or anything i felt kind of awkward filming it but i just wanted it to be more of like a remember like not everything is the grass isn't greener on the other side right so we always say like we see someone with a bbl and we're like oh i bet she's getting all these guys numbers I bet she's looking so cute in all those clothes and then behind closed doors you don't know that her lymphatic massages are painful maybe she's like damn i probably have to get another bbl like you know what i'm saying and the same is for thick hair you probably see women with thicker hair and i and i always actually the reason i made this video is because i i see always that i post a lot of curly hair videos right and curly hair tips and stuff people are always kind of like how do i make my hair look thicker how do i make it look more volumized and whatever sometimes it's just not not something that you can achieve because of the amount of hair you have sometimes volume is an illusion versus actually like there's a lot of hair there's ways to manipulate things yes but i do want to make this video to remind you to love what you have that yes although people with thicker hair i guess people would love that more love the look of it whatever there are so many little struggles that do come with that and i'm sure there are struggles that come with thinner hair as well but i don't i don't know what they are i don't resonate with them so i feel like i wanted to make a video to shine light on the reality of thick hair because i feel like people just boast about it like it's nothing you know like it's oh oh wish you were me right i know you wish you were me with your thin ass hair like no like we should be able to have these conversations and inspire other women to you know enjoy what they have anyway am i interested in thinning my hair out no because i don't know what that'll look like and i feel like i should just let my hair take its natural course right but all in all to say be confident with what you have this is your reminder that the grass is not greener on the other side that people do have their own little struggles too and regardless regardless of what you want to change people are always struggling with something right that's that's my main point and i'm kind of giving zanji does t vibes my other series right now but all i'm trying to say is you know i just wanted to sit down and tell you it's okay with what you have like i said grass is not green on the other side and if you still watch this and you're like girl i'm gonna still get my extensions i'm gonna still put my heavy ass wig on that's okay that's okay like i'm not gonna come for you follow you and be like what did i say in that video but yeah guys that's all i wanted to i just kind of wanted to chit chat like do a little 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 session but like i said again don't leave this video thinking that i'm both saying I know this is first world world problem. This is not a big deal. This is literally like just a little vent about something that's so minuscule, like not even the end of the world. But, you know, I know some girls do watch me that probably are growing up. They're probably preteens, probably wishing they looked a different way, probably whatever, whatever. If you're someone who's younger, who has thinner hair and has always wanted thick hair and you watch this and you're like, OK. Damn, like I thought I thought y'all had it easy. Like, no, this is what this video is for, you know, like a reminder, like, hey, like shit ain't cute. It's not always sweet as you think it is. So thank you for watching. 
and i hope you liked the video i hope you liked the little tiny chit chat video and i will see you in the next one thank you for watching and also if you did watch all the way and you did like my vibe i hope you can subscribe and if not like i said just leave a like so my video is pushed to people who are looking for it okay i'll see you next week guys